Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be shedding light on how attending school causes extreme poverty. Much to my chagrin, much to my consternation, much to my dismay, much to my agony, much to my distress, much to my grief. Under duress, against their own volition, against their own accord, against their own free will in this control market economy, children are dispatched to the K-12 through insalubria 13-year indoctrination camps, which some people refer to them as 13-year prisons, while other people refer to them as 13-year concentration camps, irrespective of what you refer to them as. People should have purview over their sacrosanct, indispensable, non-replenishable finite time. It's inhumane, it's immoral, it's unjust, it's unvindicated, it's unwarranted for people to be dispatched to the 13-year K-12 through insalubrious indoctrination camp or concentration camp or prison. People should not be sentenced to a 13-year prison just for being born is completely inhumane, but that's besides the point. That's not the focal point of this video, so let's move on. How does this cause extreme poverty? Well, before we go into that, that this causes extreme stagnation, which is a recipe for drawn force extreme poverty. In life, you never want to be stymied. You never want to stagnate, nor do you ever want to regress. But this is an extreme form of stagnation in which you're barred from having purview over your sacrosanct time for at least 13 years. Attending this K-12 through insalubrious compulsory indoctrination camp is a calamitous recipe for not only inducing chronic burnout, chronic fatigue, chronic stress, but also stunted growth, depression, reduced intelligence, telomere shortening, accelerated aging, and even extreme poverty. It's unequivocally distressful in every facet, and nothing beneficent, nothing salubrious, nothing worthwhile can ever ensue from attending the K-12 insalubrious 13-year compulsory indoctrination camp or concentration camp or prison or whatever you want to call it. The mandate to attend the 13-year insalubrious K-12 compulsory indoctrination camp should immediately be abolished is inhumane that it exists. People should be pioneers of their own destiny. They should be able to forge their own futures. So what is so detrimental and deleterious about attending the K-12 insalubrious 13-year compulsory indoctrination camp, other than the fact that it stunts your growth spiritually, mentally, and physically, because you're forgoing at least 37,440 hours of additional sleep. You're forgoing at least 37,440 hours of additional exercise. You're forgoing at least 37,440 hours of eating nutrient-dense, alkaline, raw fruitarian foods. But that's besides the point. The crux issue here is that you're forgoing the opportunity to build lucrative brands and create income generating assets, which would allow you to have a robust, prosperous, abundant future. When you graduate from the insalubrious K through 12 compulsory indoctrination camp, you do not receive anything, zero compensation. This means you do not receive any remuneration any benefits, any pension, any grant, any stipend, and your diploma has no intrinsic value nor extrinsic value. It's completely and utterly worthless. You cannot even resell it for a profit on the second hour market. It's devoid of any merit in any facet. So hypothetically, if the 37,440 hours were earmarked into creating income-generating assets and into 
cultivating lucrative brands. By the time you reached adulthood, you more than likely would not have to even work another day in your life if your income was on autopilot. If you have purview over your sacrosanct time, then this time could be earmarked into creating income generating assets such as videos, podcasts, blogs, online courses, ebooks, audiobooks, mobile applications, mobile video games, and songs. Moreover, if any of your income generating assets go viral, it could be life altering. I mean, imagine how much revenue you could generate from a multitude of income streams if you were to start creating lucrative income generating assets and f cultivating lucrative brands at a tender age. By the time you reach adulthood, you more than likely would be earning advertising revenue, sponsorship revenue, royalties, subscription revenue, donations, affiliate marketing revenue. I mean, imagine all the possibilities. On the other hand, when you attend the K-12 Insalubrious 13-year indoctrination camp, you're uncompensated for your hard work and efforts, which is inhumane and immoral. It's an involuntary institution that people attend under duress against their own volition in this controlled market economy. Unfortunately, you're barred from being a pioneer of your own destiny and of your own future as a child, which is unfortunate and a shame because it sets you up for a future fraught with extreme poverty, destitution, and indigence. Remember, when you graduate from the K-12 Insalubrious indoctrination camp after squandering 37,440 plus hours of your sacrosanct, indispensable, non-replenishable time, you do not receive any compensation. There's no, there's nothing for you on the front end, nor on the back end. However, let's pretend, hypothetically, you were able to have purview over your time. And if you were disinterested, if you were discontent with building lucrative brands and creating income generating assets, for whatever reason you deem fit, if you worked a job and earned an average of $12 per hour over the course of 13 years and earmarked 37,440 hours into your time working this dispiriting, harrowing, agonizing, debilitating, dead-end job. At the end of 13 years, once that duration elapsed, by the time you reached adulthood, at age 18, you would have a minimum of $449,280. Now, if you were to invest this money into the stock market, let's just say you were to buy a myriad of income generating assets because you did not want to create any for whatever reason. So let's just say you bought stocks with high dividend yields, index funds, bonds, mutual funds, annuities. And let's just say your principal or your initial investment grew at an average compound annual growth rate of 10%, a conservative number, over the course of half a century, five decades, or 50 years. By the time you reach 68 years old, after this 50-year time window elapsed, assuming the principal or the initial investment was a minimum of 449,280 hours, which you accrued from working a job and earning $12 per hour over the course of 13 years by working that job for at least 37,440 hours, you'd have cl over $52 million by the time you reach 68 years old. Assuming that your investment grew in an average compound annual gross rate of at least 10% per year. So... It just goes to show you how much revenue you're foregoing and how invaluable your time is. Even if you want to do dispense with the notion of working, even if you 
have an aversion to working. You're still foregoing 37,440 hours of partaking in stress alleviating activities, of partaking in self development activities. And when you graduate from the 13 year insalubrious K through 12 indoctrination camp, you have no practical skills. You did not assimilate any pragmatic knowledge. And your high school diploma is devoid of a modicum of merit. It does not have an iota of merit. Employers just care about whether or not you have three to five years of work experience working that particular job that you're applying for. And if you don't, then you're barred from attaining the job and you reached an impasse. But that's another topic for a disparate video. So, most people can now recover from the setback of squandering or furthering away 37,440 hours that they were bereft of, that they were eviscerated out of, that they were dispossessed of from a young age. They purview over how this 37,440 hours were allocated, they'd be healthier, they'd be stronger, they'd be taller, they'd be more competent, they'd be more cerebral, they'd be more intellectual, they'd be more mature, and they would be much, much wealthier. I mean, imagine what can transpire over the course of 13 years. You could write a blog, it could become a viral blog. You can create videos, it could become viral videos. You can sing a song and it can become a viral song. You can develop a mobile application and it can become a viral product. I mean, you never know what will transpire in the pending future. The future is enigmatic and obscure beyond a veil of time. This dire loss, this calamitous loss, is truly egregious. And um, you're foregoing the opportunity to build lucrative brands and create income generating assets and generate wealth for 37,440 hours. That 37,440 hours is earmarked towards needlessly completing homework assignments, needlessly completing classroom assignments, and needlessly traveling to and from the K through 12 insalubrious compulsory indoctrination camp. People should be pioneers of their own future, so they should have purview over how their sacrosanct time is earmarked, and um, they should be at liberty to control their own time, because after all, it's their life. And um, it's just unfortunate and calamitous because when people reach early adulthood, they're already depressed, they're already anxious, they're already burned out, and they have no income because they didn't build lucrative brands amid their childhood years. They did not create any income generating assets because they didn't have the time to do so. The children who are homeschooled are the utmost intelligent and have the latent potential to become the utmost wealthiest. While their colleagues, while their friends, while their comrades are furthering away 37,440 hours of their sacrosanct time. The children who are homeschooled have the autonomy to work by cultivating lucrative brands and by creating income generating assets and they could compound their wealth by buying income generating assets such as dividends, such as stocks with high dividend yields annuities, bonds, index funds, mutual funds, and rental properties.
I hope that you deem this video to be insightful and enthralling. I'll leave you in a high note. Ryan, the creator of Ryan's World on YouTube. He started creating videos as a young child and as a result now he grosses at least $29,500,000 a year at the tender age of nine years old. And that's what can transpire when you start cultivating lucrative brands and creating income generating assets from a young age. Do not defer doing so. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.